So hi, I'm uh, Carrie Rodden. I'm a quantitative user experience researcher at Google. That job basically involves being like a cross between a data scientist and a UX person. And one place where those things can combine pretty well is data visualization. Um, so this is a data visualization that I made when I worked at YouTube about five years ago. And it was to summarize the navigation patterns that users were taking through the YouTube website. I should say, first of all, that this is not real data, so don't quote me on any of this. Don't make any major life decisions or anything um, based on it. Um, so I'm just going to, uh, just to demonstrate how it works, um, if you hover over it, um, it shows you the percentage of visits that start with these different sequences of pages. Uh, so for example, here, um, this is the percentage of visits that start with the user going to the home page, doing a search, uh, and then watching a video, 12.9%. Um, over here is the percentage that start with the user watching a video and then leaving the site, 15.6%. Um, and so when I uh, created the original version of this and I sent it around, um, the response to it was just beyond way beyond anything else that I had ever done. Um, it went viral internally. It started showing up in strategy presentations. And now it's used in uh, training for new people at YouTube to like teach them. This is how people use YouTube. Um, and of course, the ultimate thing was that people wanted it on t-shirts. Um, so you know that and a few other things just caused me to pause and say, what just happened there? <laughs> Like, how did I do that thing that, and, and how, what, what <laughs> can, I, can I do that again? Can I figure out what that was so that I can do it for every project? Um, so on reflection, it was like two main aspects. Um, and it really was important to have both of those things, the data and the design. So on the data side, this was an original analysis. It was that zero to one thing that uh, Samson was talking about before. Um, this was five years ago, so you know, no one had done this analysis before. It wasn't just sitting around in a database somewhere. Um, I had to go and do that analysis myself. Um, it was answering a question that people cared about, which was, how are people using YouTube? Um, and you know, everyone who works there wants to know the answer to that question. There's many possible ways that you could answer it. This was only one answer. Um, but it was a new and interesting answer to that question. Um, and then uh, one thing that I think was very important was that it's taking something that's actually very complex and presenting it in a simple way that people can understand. Um, so just to talk about that simplification a little bit more, um, I took every single possible page on YouTube and just boiled them down into five categories. Um, that was really hard. Um, when you're close to your data, you know, you want, you care about every single nuance. Um, and you don't want to leave any of it out, but uh, you know every single video that anyone could watch on YouTube, uh, whether it's on a playlist or you know any kind of thing, it's all covered by that one thing: watch. <laughs> um, and that was very hard to let go of that, but it's really important because otherwise you end up with way too many permutations. So that simplification was really important. Um, and then the other important thing was to. Um, organize the data into like a hierarchical structure and um, focus on the beginning of a visit only, uh, not worry about everything else, just, just worry about the beginning. Um, and so then this structure here, um, if you're a computer scientist, it's kind of like a try. Um, it's, you can think of it as being a decision tree almost. Um, you know, users are coming into the site and then there's all these different possible branches that they could follow. Um, and so then you just start adding new branches every time you see a new path that someone took. And then you count up how many times you see each one and until you've got all the possible paths. Um, and then that's what lends itself to applying it to a sunburst, um, which was originally designed for visualizing hierarchical data. And so um, you, know, you can see the hierarchy represented here that um, you know, everything that's in that home branch of the tree, all the visits that started on the home page, are all nested inside um, this the, here on the visualization. They're all kind of subtended by that big green arc there. Um, so then the next aspect was the design. Um, being a UX person, I followed a, an iterative design process. I just treated this like it was a product. Um, and in particular, I did some informal usability testing that was super useful. Um, I just went up to people and said, 
Okay, imagine someone sent you this thing and said, check this out. Um, you know, if they opened it on their laptop or whatever, like, could they understand it when they saw it the first time? Um, did it make sense to them? Some people were really confused, while some people got it right away. And so uh, the learnings from that helped me de decide to add these interactive elements that really help people get it the first time. Um, and so um, just to show you those again, um, there's, you know, the, the breadcrumb at the top that shows you what path it is that we're talking about. Um, the highlighting as well does that, and then there's also these uh, percentages in the middle that mean that you don't have to eyeball, like is this section bigger than this section, it just tells you, um, which, you know, that's like a, a, a disadvantage of a sunburst is that the angles are hard to compare, um, um, but I think also one, there's a lot of trade-offs when it comes to data visualization design, but one thing about this that I think shouldn't be overlooked is also that it's just a really engaging, it's nice to look at. Uh, people wanted it on t-shirts, um, and that's a factor that um, I didn't really anticipate in advance. Um, just to show you what it looks like if it's not wrapped around a circle, um, that's exactly the same data, same interactivity, um, but it just doesn't look as interesting, <laughs> right? So, um, so yeah, it's an important factor not to ignore. Um, so just to sum that up, uh, the data aspect and the design aspects both of them together were really important. I've worked on projects where I've only done one or the other, and it hasn't, they haven't been as successful. If you want to try the um, visualization, the, the code for it is open source, um, and so a few people that have, have applied this to their data as well, lots of teams at Google have also reused it. So if you just search for sequences sunburst, you'll, you'll be able to find it. And uh, yeah, my name's Kerry Rodden, thank you.